Hey everybody, welcome back to Adam Heather's Kitchen. Yeah, I told you we'd be back and we're, here we are. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to cook us a spiral cut ham. Actually reheat it, sorry. It's already cooked. We're going to do it on the grill. Real simple. It's going to be the easiest ham you've ever done. Alright, let's get cooking. Okay, so all the charcoal over on one side. Notice I've got a aluminum can, aluminum bottle filled with water and so everything doesn't dry out. Hoping you can hear me over the wind in the uh, cars. A little bit of hickory in there, get some extra smoking. Love the fact that I have to wear gloves. And we'll close it up. We'll be back in a while. Alright, oh look at that. It's nowhere near done. I'm just going to turn this around. Just like that. We're going to let this cook. It's been about a half hour. I figure another, eh, probably another hour. How are we doing on water? I'm going to have to add a little bit more, but you don't have to watch me do that. I'll see you guys later. Alright people, hey everybody, welcome back. The ham is slowly cooking, it's about 30 minutes out, so now it's time for the glaze. I'm just using the prepackaged glaze that comes with the ham. The instructions say dump. Add into a small saucepan, three tablespoons of water, mix it, start mixing it, keep mixing it until it comes to a boil. Now me, while this glaze is good, I want to sweeten it a little bit more. So I'm going to throw in a teaspoon or so of honey. There we go, that'll sweeten it up just a little bit more. Get some nice caramelization. That smells good. So now we have to bring this to a boil. Not there yet. There's another one of those you have to keep stirring it until it uh, comes to a boil, otherwise it burns. Smells really good. Yeah, it does. And no, it's not a holiday. We just decided we haven't had ham in a long time. This will work for lunches and work, and some of it will end up in soups. And now it's hot. There we go. Now they say that you brush this over the ham, work it into all the cracks. Well, I'll brush some of it. The rest will get drizzled over the top. I'll bring you out there and you can see it. Alright, here's the ham. Look at all the juice in there. Oh. It looks like it's burned, doesn't it? It's not. That's just bark. Very outside. Lots of smoke. smell this. Well that 
juice down the bottom. That's going to make a beautiful gravy. All right, so this has about a half hour to go. We'll be back. All right, this should be, and yes, it is done. Look at that. Oh, and it smells wonderful. All right, we'll see you inside. Okay, we're back inside. I've pulled the ham out of the pan. We're gonna make us some gravy. Well, this is a little bit different. This is my version of red-eye gravy. I've got two cups for the coffee in here. We're gonna pour that right in there. Now we're just gonna bring this to a boil, and while it's boiling, I'm gonna get everything up from the bottom. Now this isn't traditional red eye gravy because this also happens to have the uh, seasoning, the glaze. A lot of it dipped down in here, but that's okay. This still tastes good. If I'd been, if I'd been smart, I would have brought, got some uh, biscuits or made some biscuits, but you know, this is going to be just fine. So we've had this boiling for a couple minutes here, it's starting to thicken up just a little. It's not going to get real thick. Look at the color of this. Turn off the heat and let it cool a little. Like I said, over biscuits or even over you know, mashed potatoes, this is fantastic. Over the ham, it's great. Nice flavor. It's not most Americans traditional, but I love this stuff. All right, we're gonna move over to the uh, ham. Gonna pull a little bit off and give it a taste test. Here we are back of the ham. Oh, this looks good. Spiral cut. I love spiral ham. We're just going to cut a couple. Going to do a sampling here. These are right on the bottom. these up here that whole oh job that looks good bottom ones may be the ones we use for uh, soups we'll see okay hold on a second And back. Now, taste test. Oh yeah. One for the boss. So what do you think of that? <laughs> you got a thumbs up there. All right. Okay, everybody. We'll be back. I don't know when. Not sure what we're going to make, but it's going to be good. Now, until then, go ahead and play with your food. And before I leave, please give me some thumbs up. I know I'm begging, but please. It's always nice to see that people like my videos. Give me some thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And give me some comments. I always like to hear what people have to say. All right, people. See you later.